Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to see how to add the image for our weapon. So as you can see here, when I pick up the sniper rifle, we have a sniper rifle image right there. We're going to drop this and take the shotgun. We're going to have the shotgun and we're going to have the assault rifle. So we're going to see exactly how to do this. So the first step is going to implement our pictures that we need. So see in the description below to download those pictures. But what you can do, you can take any picture that you want in your game. Basically, you need to make sure that they are PNG. So if I go over over one, you're going to see it's compression. It's a PNG. Let's make sure that you have that so we can use the transparency of that picture. So create a folder in my folder. I mean my stuff. Create a folder named images. And under this guns and put all your picture right there. So you can just drag and drop your picture. So if I click on my picture, for example, take the picture that I want, I can just do this. And drag it right there and you should be all good to go so when this is done you're gonna open all your blueprint that you have for your weapons so the shotgun sniper and assault rifle in my case so we're gonna start with a shotgun and we're gonna have to put the picture right here but as you can see now we have no variable to do so what we're going to do is we're gonna go to our weapon master class and we're gonna create a variable and gonna call that weapon icon and the type is not gonna be boolean but it's gonna be a texture 2d so just search for texture 2d and we're gonna take the object reference of that texture just compile it and you're all good we can go back now in the shotgun and now you should have something like this so you can click on the shotgun and search for shotgun and you should have the texture shotgun here we're going to do the same thing for sniper, so search for sniper, take the sniper, same thing for the assault rifle, so search for assault rifle, actually it's rifle I believe, so here we go right here, and you can compile all of them, and now the pictures is attached to each of our weapons. So we're going to go to our first person character, and here as you remember when we are giving the weapon to the player, we are getting the name from that event dispatcher. So now what we're going to do, we're going to attach the icon of that weapon with the name. So we are going to click on the weapon dispatcher for the name and we're going to add a new input. So click on input and we're going to call this weapon icon. And by default, it should be texture 2D. So make sure that you have that there just in case you don't have it and you can compile. So now you can see you run to this issue. So that's very, very simple to fix. What you can do, you can just click on it and refresh. And it should be good. So you can click on the other one. It's going to bring you to the even begin play. Same thing. You just click on it and refresh. And you're going to have one more here. It's when we are dropping the weapon. So same thing. Just click on it and refresh. And it should fix all your error. It's just because we, we did modify it, but we didn't refresh it. So it's why it was doing a mistake. So now we can go to the weapon name. So we have something like this. So now we're going to take the weapon icon as well. So on the return node, we're going to add a new output. We're going to call that weapon icon. And it should be a texture 2D. That's important. From the master class here. We are searching for the weapon icon that we created earlier and we can just plug it right there. So if it's true, it's going to display the icon that we assigned for each of our weapon. And if there is nothing, we need to assign that blank weapon here that we have. So you can select it that way and just click here on the arrow. It's going to paste it in the box right away or you can search for it and you can compile. So now you're all set, so we can go back to the event graph. And now you can see that we have an option to the icons now that we can just plug up there. Right, so we're going to compile and we're going to do the same thing for when we give the weapon to the player. And also on even begin play. There we go. So now we're all set with that. So we just did a little modification and the name and the icon will display at the same time. So we're going to jump to the player add. And here we're just going to modify that a little bit. As you can see here, we call our name dispatcher 
and we have the icon here. So we need to tell the game, hey, we want to display the icon as well. So how to do this? We're going to go to the designer tab and here we have the weapon name. So here on the palette, we're going to search for an image, take an image, put it wherever you want. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put the shotgun image in it just to have an ID how it's look so I can, you know, size it correctly. You know, something like this sound, sounds good. So I'm going to put it right there. So that's just, you know, it's not going to display this, but it's just to for me to see how to put the good size of it. So I could always put 120 here and I could put 100 there. Here we go. So now you have something that's look a little bit better so you can compile this. So here on the name, we're going to name this a weapon icon and make sure it's a variable. It's important. And I'm going to compile that. I'm going to go back to our graph tab here. And now we should have access to the weapon icon right here in the variable section. So just take that and drag it to your board here. And now we only have to drag from it and we're going to search for brush. Right. And we're going to set the brush from a texture because remember our pictures or texture. So we need a texture and we can just plug it right there. And the texture will be this one here. I'm just going to extend the weapon name and I'm going to call that weapon name and icon. And I'm going to compile this. So technically now everything should work. And if you're wondering why it's a brush, but now it's a texture and now it's an image, it's getting a little bit confusing. So in the designer tab, when you click on image here, you see it's a brush here and our picture is a texture. So it's the reason why I'm using set brush from texture. So if we go back to our first person character and we do play, if I take the sniper rifle, you're going to have sniper and the sniper icon at the same time, drop this. Same thing with the assault rifle and same thing with, if I can pick it up, the shotgun. So you can see it's working fine. So the name and the icon is showing at the same time. So that's pretty much this for this video and I will catch you on the next one.